everyone. Today I thought I'd pick up the camera and kind of vlog. I haven't decided the name of like this, the title for this video yet. But I am with my little mini me over here, as you can see. And uh, we just got back from Dublin last week. And if you saw my vlog for Dublin, you'll have seen that maybe i was doing her and her sister's makeup every single night that we were away and they were just like oh my god we want to buy all the makeup you have and i was kind of going through their makeup kicks obviously we were like staying together and i was just really curious because i don't know like how kids no offense <laughs> like buy their first makeup because when i was their age my mum didn't like take me to the shops and like she wasn't like this is the foundation that will suit you or like get you shade match to this that and the other because my mum doesn't really wear a lot of makeup and nor does yours really does she no, and so they were just saying they just went with their friends and that's basically what i did when i was like kind of your age yeah. maybe a bit older because i was more of a tomboy so i didn't really wear a lot of makeup um, I was actually at uni when I bought my first foundation and I was with one of my friends and she had darker skin than me but for some reason we both went to YSL which is like the worst brand possibly because they don't cater for like even my skin tone never mind anyone darker than me and we bought this horrific like tinted moisturiser which I absolutely loved because I was like oh my god it's YSL it's amazing yeah. and it just did not work for me whatsoever my skin was super ashy I just looked like a complete ghost in all my photos that were taken on disposable cameras on nights out at uni and like my makeup was just terrible thankfully these guys now have like youtube and stuff like that to like refer to and their foundation and their concealers and stuff are a really good shade match but you just don't like the formula of it do you yeah. she wears bare minerals foundation and concealer she doesn't like the shade of her concealer and she always says that her skin breaks out quite a bit and obviously that could just be hormonal because she is only 16 but i find that i I love the Bare Minerals foundation, like the powder one, but every time I wear it, like my aunt has it and she's the same shade as me, I'd always put it on when I was at hers, but every time I wear it, even for like a couple of hours or so, my skin would just break out and I've heard so many people saying that about Bare Minerals mm. and I just feel like maybe there's something in their products that just don't work for people's skin, so I was saying that maybe it's worth trying a different foundation and I also feel like you don't like the cakey look, you don't need the cakey look, like they're so young, my other cousin not with me so we're doing it with mini me today mini -me. <laughs> and we'll do your sisters like next week sometime when we're back in london and um, we're also in leicester but they don't need a lot of coverage they're really young they've got like nothing to really hide they just obviously want to wear makeup so i was like you definitely need like a water-based foundation which i think your bare minerals is but again it's bare minerals so like you know not keen i really really think that she should get the mac face and body because i absolutely used to love that foundation it's so nice and dewy on the skin it just looks like skin you can sometimes see your like look like little flaws and pigmentation through it but that's great because then your skin just looks like skin it's not like a complete like cover-up that's like a mask yeah, do you know what yeah. i mean there is no mac where we are right now um but first up we're gonna head to primark and get her a makeup bag because if you've seen the state of her makeup bag it used to be mine and my sister had like this oh you've got it with you okay great <laughs> You just wanna to take a quick peek everyone. I mean it is just awful. awful. It, is horrendous, it just everyone. looking at it just does things to me, honestly. It is disgusting. And it's probably also why my skin isn't very good if you think about it. Yes, and it's another reason I really need to teach her really how bad. to wash her brushes. We need to get you new sponges because there's no point in even washing those. I don't know how long you've had before <laughs> to spin them. But like, you have to bin sponges after a little while anyway, um, for hygiene reasons. So we'll just get you a new sponge. We're just gonna like get her a few new bits. Not a whole makeup bag, because like your mascara and like a few mascara bits and are fine. And stuff is fine. Yeah, that's that's fine, just the base products, I think. Yeah, I don't even really wear them that often anyway because obviously I'm quite young. Yeah, exactly. So it's, so it's not like she needs to make up everything. Yeah, and I just want to like add a little disclaimer as well. We will be shopping for. I just. Uh, I you guys know what i'm like when it comes to base products i just think that high end is the way forward especially if you're a woman of color i have never found anything at the drugstore that i like you're a bit fairer than me mm. so you might find something but i mean you know like her sister wears bobby brown she's 18 and like i was the same like my first thing was like ysl yeah. and everything else i owned was mac and 
it's just how we roll in our family like we just do high end right it works like, better though it's it better. works better it's better quality yeah. it's better for your skin i just don't like it's drugstore based products but there is definitely a concealer that i want you to try yeah. at the drugstore because i think that's fine yeah and i feel like you go through more concealer than you go through foundation oh, 100 because yeah. you wear concealer on its own sometimes as well don't you i wear concealer pretty much every day yes i don't I feel don't like she it. needs like um a high-end concealer but a foundation Definitely, I'm just a big believer in good quality foundation. Anyway, first up, Primark. <laughs> I say good quality. And now <laughs> we're heading to Primark to go and find a makeup bag because, oh, it just does things to me, honestly. <laughs> it's so bad. Bingo, there's so much to choose from. That's quite nice. Massive. Bags under my eyes. That's quite cool. We've got a larger one, but it's probably too big for you, isn't it? No, that's too big. That's really cool. It's two pounds. It's actually probably like a good. Hmm. I like this one. I mean, they have like. If you like this one, <laughs> they have quite a lot as well. Like so many more over here. Less Monday, more summer. <laughs> this is quite. Oh, this is nice. I like that. Love yourself. No. This is quite cute, I don't really like that bow. We've just found them both eyeshadow palettes as well. The girls were eyeing up my Huda Beauty quad when we were away, but that's 25 quid. And the Primark ones are three pounds. And they didn't have a tester for that same one, but I swatched a different one. I think it was their taupe one or their nude addiction. And they're pretty pigmented for three quid. They are really nice colours. She's gonna get one for her and her sister too. And we're gonna get her my cellar water because she needs to learn to not use <laughs> makeup wipes. I was giving her this lecture in Dublin. I didn't that know, is so why is it nice. bad? Does it not take up your makeup? No, it just moves your makeup around your face. Oh. Like it doesn't actually take it off. And it's oh, bad for the that, environment. I guess that makes it you're wiping. Mm. Our first stop Primark was way more of a success than we thought it would be, right? I literally just thought we were going to go in and buy a makeup bag and you picked up five bits for £12. Huh, how good is that? It's very, very good. Um, I picked up a cheeky little something too. <laughs> but now we're going to go to Boots, which is kind of at the other end of this like retail park. We're going to drive because it is chucking it down and we just got soaked. Hopefully we can just go to Primark Boots and then possibly Mac. Maybe John Lewis in town, we'll see. Yeah? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I had no idea there was a super drug in Leicester. Kind of shows how much I know. <laughs> but we're going to go in here first, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this girl. <laughs> we shot Oh, her makeup looks absolutely flawless. It looks so, so good. I really, really like that foundation on her, but I didn't quite realise it was 29.50. Which, I mean, it's not bad because it is a 15 mil foundation. And obviously for me, that I'm ha more than happy to pay that because I buy the Armani one, which is a lot more. But um, it is a nice foundation. I just think maybe the MAC face and body is more appropriate because the woman just reminded me she looks very similar to MAC face and body but this one's not as runny so the other one will be even lighter coverage oh, okay. for you and in fact you don't even need to go to MAC in town because I know exactly what shade I am in the MAC hey. face and body because you're online oh, nice. yeah um, but this boots in Leicester we're in Foss Park it's amazing like they've got so many brands they've got like Becca, Stila, Fenty wow. um, Too Faced everything but now we're gonna go and I'll speak to you in the car. Yeah. Why is it that we get stuck in the rain? It just rains when we have to leave a shop and walk to the Every car. Time. We get in the car and the rain dies down. We get in a shop, the rain dies down. Anyway, um, we've had a very successful day. She spent just over 30 quid and we went to Primark, Superdrug and Boots. She even managed to snag a sample of the Dior foundation, um, which she already loves. I knew she would because it's just, the best foundation it's just so great like i said we're in leicester there's no point in going to mac because we've established that she's the same foundation shade as me yeah. so she could potentially just buy it online um because mac's in town you have to walk loads pay for parking all the rest of it and there's no kiko in leicester and i really really want her to try the kiko universal fit 
hydrating foundation what a mouthful <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a long time you'll have known that you'll know that i used to rave about that foundation before i hit 30 absolutely loved it for my skin it's at six pounds 650 750 wow. it's like less than seven pound 50 basically and you get 30 ml wow. really really good foundation and it's like water-based really like coverage and yeah it's just great like i really like it so i think we should take you to kiko first but we're gonna have to wait till we go back to london so i'm gonna have to like finish the rest of this vlog off there ignore my makeup it is really hot and sweaty i'm really hot and sweaty but it's been a couple of days and anusha has opened up all of her makeup and used it and i thought Do you know what i'd better film it and show you guys what we picked up the other day because uh, you're just gonna go home and just like add it in with the rest of your makeup otherwise so i will show you there's still like two bits missing but we have a plan from primark we got this makeup bag which i actually love like it looks so expensive it's only two quid it's very spacious you've kind of spilled something in there already haven't you mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's really good quality it's like recycled organic cotton so yeah it's great i really like this actually mm. well done two pounds well spent my eyes are designer <laughs> I didn't understand that until this very morning. Oh, really? I thought I thought it meant that like the bags that I was viewing in the bag section under my eyes were designer. And then I understood <laughs> that it my actual bag. Oh my god! And then it's because cool. you don't have bags under your eyes. That's why. Well, you know? Yeah. Okay, so from Primark, we also got her some micellar water because she needs to stop using face wipes. And I'm like, just been I've been banging on about that for ages. <laughs> Um, we got her this Huda Beauty inspired palette, which is actually very nice. It's really nice. There was Amber Flame, I think, and Amber yeah. Passion. Amber Passion was a little bit nicer. Um, they're very decent quality as well, these shadows. There's names on them, but that's just slid off. There we go. She's on her own eye makeup today. Close your eyes. To lift your head up. Look at how nice that is. And she's attempted her own winged eyeliner as well. It's my first attempt. It looks really, really good. Turn the other way. So good. Thanks, guys. I'm very impressed. So she has this palette, um, which is obviously great for you because it's got quite a few shades. And yeah, it's like three it quid. Really she also wanted a setting spray. I have no idea what this is like, but um, it it's was really pretty good. Nice. It was four pounds. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Nice. It smells really good. Does it? And it's got aloe vera in it, vitamin B5, and illuminating pearls. How <laughs> did you remember that? So we have a setting spray. Yeah, oh right. Oh I was right. reading that. <laughs> and then from Superdrug, do you want to push the stuff this way? So the first thing we did was get her a real technique sponge. I suggested getting one with the case just to keep your bag clean. And mm. then when you replace the sponge, you don't have to buy the one with the case. Yeah. You can just keep the case. And I love it so much because it's so cute. And it <laughs> blows up when you put water on it. Guys, put water on your proper sponges. <laughs> it expands. We got her two different types of concealer. Um, concealer was very hard actually to find in the drugstore, and that's why I think when we do your sister's makeup, we're not going to go back to the drugstore. Yeah. This is why I just don't like drugstores. Like it's so difficult yeah. trying to match yourself up to stuff, and like nothing's ever quite right. And this was a little bit too pink because she like we established when we went to the Dior counter in Boots. Um, that she's actually the same foundation shade as me. Mm -hmm. Even though she's not as yellow as me, she's a bit more neutral. I think a lot of people would pass like pass her off as pink undertoned, which I don't think is right. And obviously, most things in the drugstore are pink undertoned. But she likes to use two different concealers: one as just a cover up, um, and then one under the eyes. So yeah. that's what we did. They're very very similar, but she didn't like the formula of the NYX one. Um, as a cover up, yeah, it looked too cakey, so she preferred this one. So, this is just a makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade C12. And we got the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop yeah. concealer in neutral tan. Um, so yeah, she's actually very happy with those. She's been wearing them like for the past couple of days. She got them, <laughs> and we also got her a pencil liner from Makeup Revolution. This is like a um, I think it's a gel and a felt line yes. and flick. And you've already used that, haven't you? It is, and it's very good, I have to say. <laughs> Can you stop doing the baby voice, please? Oh, <laughs> it is really good. Um, so, yeah. Yes, there we go. There, it's very good. And then you've got that side, and then on the other side, you have this, which is kind of destroyed after today, but it was much more pointier at the top. Yes. There That's the gel bit. 
And then last but not least, we went into Boots and got her a sample of the Dior Face and Body Foundation in the shade for Warm Olive, which is basically what I wear. And I love this foundation. This is a great like sample size as well, because you probably get like maybe a, maybe a week, five days. A week? Five days? I think you'd get like a day out of that. No. Really? How much do you use then? <laughs> like a fifth of that? But it's tiny. Oh, I see now. You wouldn't use that much foundation. No, I see now. Maybe three days, like if you don't want to be tight with it. But I'd want to be tight, so I'd try and like yeah. stretch it to five and try and get it to seven. Oh, but how would you be able to do that? I see people put like loads of this on their face. Yeah, you don't need it though. Really? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, there we go. There we go. And I'm also, like I said yesterday or the other day, tempted to get her to try the Kiko Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation. But actually, yesterday, her friend, um, who owes her a birthday present, asked if she wanted anything from Sephora while her friend's in the US. And I was like, oh my god, yes you do. You want the Tarte Rainforest and <laughs> Sea Foundation in the shade Tan Sand. That's so what funny. I wear. <laughs> it was like such good timing, it was so wasn't funny. it? Right after makeup shopping. Is there anything perhaps that you'd want? Probably thinking that I wouldn't know anything about Sephora. And I'm like suddenly just like there's a tart. But I was like, I love that foundation. You can't get it in the UK. It is water-based, it's lightweight, it looks like skin, it's just such a nice foundation. And in fact, it's one of my very few foundations that isn't overly yellow, it's got quite a neutral undertone, which would be perfect for you. Um so her friend's actually buying her that foundation, which is very, very nice of her. That's very nice, thank you, friend. Yeah. <laughs> So if we do go shopping in London, then yeah. I'll still get you matched up to the Kiko one. Yeah. It's like five. Because I'm not going to get their top on every single time. Yeah. And yeah, maybe a bronzer as well, we said. Yeah, we said bronzer. But I wasn't sure about that. I'm going to have a little think about that. I mean, I don't really wear... I mean, if I wear... I'd wear um, uh, contour, which is... It was going to do kind of the same mm. thing. But I don't even wear that. You don't need like, contour. Ever. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, she could probably get away with that bronzer. So... Yeah, this is basically your little haul. It's a couple of days later. I'm now with my other cousin and we're headed to MAC to get them both matched up to foundation. But Serena's really after a concealer, so... So fingers crossed we're successful. Yeah, we're gonna find a concealer. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> So we went to MAC, they were not very helpful, I'll tell you about that later. We're now at Debenhams and we're at the Two Face counter because there's no one here because the lady's gone home. So I've just matched Serena up to the shade Tan, which is basically what I wear. It's not ashy, it's just perfect on her. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the MAC ones just didn't work for me. They never worked for me either. So I feel like I should call this video the struggles of shopping for makeup as a brown girl because it really is. Um, I end all the way. <laughs> We're home from our shopping trip and it was very successful in the end, wasn't it? Really successful. Um, I think Anusha is pretty much done with her makeup. I mean, her friend's going to get her the foundation. Unfortunately, the shopping centre we went to was supposed to have a key coat and it's recently shut down. So... We couldn't do that, but we did both. We all got matched up to the, well, these two got matched up to the MAC Face and Body Foundation, and they're both a C5, well, C5, C6. Um, I also got a sample pot for myself because I used to wear it, and it's been years, and I just wanted to see how it works for me again. But the sales assistants in MAC were just terrible. They weren't very helpful. We had one lady that, she wasn't very nice or very friendly, but then that is stereotypical mac employee but she did know her stuff and then for some reason she swapped with another lady so this other lady had a client who was asian and wanted to concealer had dark circles and she couldn't match her up so they both swapped but we ended up with a lady that couldn't match this other lady up and she just had no idea what she was doing and she kept asking serena like what shade she thinks she is and like whether like it was just terrible she was so so bad she must have been a trainee because everything she put on serena was super ashy or 
looked worse than like before she had concealer on like she was like what do you think and I was like no but I do know myself I used to have so many problems at MAC like MAC is such a great brand because yes they cater for everyone they do millions of shades of everything but their concealers have just always been a bit off for me and I suggested using a corrector on Serena and she was like no 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 orange correctors don't work then she tried this orange corrector and I said this is the one like peach luster in the prep and prime like kicky thing she tried it and it did work but then I was like she doesn't need to buy a corrector and a concealer let's just go elsewhere so then I took her to Debenhams and the lady at the Too Faced counter wasn't there I matched her up myself and she ended up with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade tan which is basically what I wear so we are all pretty <laughs> much the same, same shade, shade. <laughs> and it's it's amazing. Amazing. it is so yeah so she like this and this is a really nice formula as well because it's quite light because yeah. serena currently wears a bobby brown is it yeah a bobby brown concealer yeah a bobby brown concealer and it's really really weird because really it's really thick. like it's very sticky. thick and gloopy it's yeah really nice it kind of feels a bit like glue but very cakey yeah it's just it's a very strange formula and i think it's a lot more expensive than this one as well isn't it so this is serena's um original concealer it's the bobby brown instant full cover concealer and when i tried it in dublin it's like a really oily like really it's thick cakey <laughs> formula yeah it's not very not nice at all money. Do you know how much I it was? I can only put small amounts on because it's just too thick otherwise. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how much it costs? Probably more than twenty pounds. Wow. Probably about twenty four. Was that twenty one or twenty four? Wow. Yeah. Can you um, swatch it on my hand, how much please? Did that cost? Well, look. There's barely any. There's not really that much that comes out. How much did that then, cost? I don't know if you can see, but it's, it kind of looks like it's a just like tin, doesn't it? Very sticky. It's just far too orange. I it's just put very tiny dots on because other and then mix it in with my beauty blend because otherwise. Yeah, it's just not very nice. Whereas this one is very liquidy and it's just a really nice formula. So I think this will work really well for her. And then also she just picked up a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Who remembers when everyone used to rave about these? These are currently 33% off in Debenhams, and she picked up the shade sanctuary which is really really nice it's a very like 90s mauvey brown and it looks incredible on her skin tone so that is a success definitely <laughs> she didn't really want a new foundation because her bobby brown one's fine but she did manage to get a sample of the dior one and the mac ones we've got loads of samples to play around with and i've given her the mary luminizer highlighter um just because i have two of these and this is just i mean you can't go wrong with this and she has the highest cheekbones <laughs> known to man which unfortunately don't run in the family <laughs> um so she definitely needs highlight and not like contour or anything like that just 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 to accentuate them how was your shopping trip it was really, really good. good it was so good we got the stuff we needed yeah we got <laughs> a lot of emeralds stuff we have now, and now our faces <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like this just sort of kind of shows the struggles that brown people go to, go through to like find like concealers and foundations to match our skin. And this is literally why I always just say that high end is so much better than drugstore because we just about found concealer for you. She's a lot fairer than either of us and you're not as yellow so she's kind of this light is so unflattering i'm sorry um so she's kind of on the border of like just being able to find something at the drugstore um whereas it's just virtually impossible for me and for serena too so i really hope you found this video helpful in some way if you did then please give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next but thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye